because of this hysteria of Ebola, the whole world thinks, oh, I can't go to Africa, oh, it's so dangerous. And reality is, there were, what, no, six countries maybe? Go to South Africa, there's no problem. Zambia, there's no problem. Many isolated other countries that aren't at all affected. I mean, you say a continent. Yes, it's a continent, but there are 54 different countries. Africa is fascinating. Batik d'Afrique is a thread of fabric or threads that come together to create something stable, like a blanket or a sheet or a piece of fabric, something that symbolized four distinct art practices weaving themselves together and creating this sort of commonality. Malik Sedibe, one of the most famous photographers in our time, basic portraiture, basic camera to document his society. One of one. There's no addition. It's just that one portrait, that one print. You get the feeling he's documenting the people. There's a magic in these photos or Gonzalo Mobunda from Mozambique, an artist who's using stockpiles of guns, weapons, and appropriated them and made them his story about Mozambique, about war, people dying, being maimed, fighting each other, memorializing what has happened. It has a conscience. Why does he have all these pieces of destruction in his backyard? Is there so much of that, so much abundance of these weapons and bullets, etc., that he can just freely make sculptures? It's mind boggling. Are we in the West, Russia, Israel, are we selling all these weapons? Certainly as art pieces come out, you wonder. Then we have a young artist from Zimbabwe, Mafet Takadiwa. He has created these wonderful sculptural artworks through covers of fans, bottle caps, aerosol canisters, or nozzles, junk, garbage to make beauty. Mafet might be an eco-warrior. In certain societies, you think this is complete junk that you're gonna recycle and put it back into the earth and you'll never see it again. He's giving it an extension. He's saying, wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm going to take this garbage and I'm going to give it new life. Or Abudia from Ivory Coast, who uses oil stick and canvas oil paints, who's one of the hot, young, innovative painters who learned on the street in art school. And he's got some very powerful messages that he's sharing with us. In the wording, it's talking about, in Nuchi language, some child who desires. And then in the stomach of one of the other figures, they've been able to digest it or achieve or get what they needed. It's a very vibrant creation and colors, expressive, and I think just beautiful. We need to learn more about Africa to open our eyes, become more informed in a global sense, be even more embracing of diverse art practices from around the world. And I think Africa is just part of it.